Hi everybody, this week I'm going to be reviewing the Erna Mesh Underbust Corset made by Corset Deal. Now, Corset Deal recently released a whole summer range of corsets, including several different types of mesh corsets, and I hadn't seen them sell mesh corsets in the past. So I was curious to try one out. I did purchase this myself, thanks to my Patreon supporters, but uh, when I purchased this, it was less than a month ago. It was about four weeks ago, three and a half, four weeks ago, and it was taken off the site uh, very, very recently because when I checked again a couple of days ago just to make sure that I have the proper stats for making this video, uh, it was no longer on the site. So I don't know if that means that it was just so popular that it ran out of pre-orders or if there were quality issues with it, but for posterity and in case they ever do bring it back, I am still making this review. Now this corset is one of three that I purchased from Corset Deal all at the same time. The other two corsets were shipped from India by DHL. This particular corset was shipped from Nepal by UPS. So what that tells me is they are probably um, selling corsets made by different manufacturers. And when I received this corset, comparing its construction and some of its hardware to the other corsets, I do think it's a different manufacturer. And in all truth, I actually prefer the hardware and some of the construction details of this corset compared to some of their other ones. So that's another thing to keep in mind about this particular company. Not all of their corsets are consistent in terms of the quality and the construction. But now let's get on to the actual review. So here's the front, the side, the back, and the other side. For the length and fit of this corset, the center front here is 11 and a half inches. At the princess seam here, it is nine inches long. Five of those inches are from the waist up, and I'm measuring it from the bottom of the waist tape. And four of those inches are from the waist down. The side seam here is nine inches once again. It comes up over the hip, but it also comes up a little bit on the side of the rib cage here. And in the center back, it's 11 and a half inches once again. This is a size 22 corset, and when I measured it right out of the box before it was worn, the waist did measure 22 inches, so it measures true in the waist. Uh, the rib cage here is 28 inches, so it has a six inch rib spring. However, I noticed that one side of the corset was about half an inch longer than the other side of the corset. So if you notice that the corset is slightly tilting on me, that may be the reason why. And it may have something to do with the mesh panels because this types of, of uh, sports mesh uh, or fishnet style netting can expand a little bit, especially when it's being sewn. So it might have slightly warped and uh, this may have contributed to some of the asymmetry when this corset was constructed. And uh, the hip here, the high hip is 31 inches, so it's a nine inch hip spring. But when I measured both sides of the corset at the hip, it seemed to be fairly even. You can see that the corset comes up in a slight point at the top here, and there's also a slight point at the bottom. If you have a longer torso or if you have a little bit of a lower tummy that needs more support, you might wanna try a corset that is longer than this one because whatever this corset doesn't cover, it's not going to support. Uh, in terms of the silhouette itself, this is more of a semi-mesh corset. You can see that um, it's basically these panels right here that are mesh, but all along the back here, these two panels are uh, a full cotton, 100% cotton, as well as the center front here. So while it is breezy, it does have a bit more structure than, say, uh, a fishnet style corset that is just net all the way around. And because of this, it tends to also hold its silhouette a little bit better than some of those other ones. Uh, you might have noticed that in the past when I reviewed mesh corsets, even if they were cut in a slightly conical shape, because my ribs were pushing out on the corset, it created more of a rounder rib cage. Whereas with this corset, because it has more full cotton panels here, it tends to retain more of its slightly conical rib cage. And the corset tends to kick out pretty straight over the hip here. Uh, there's nothing like rounded or shelf-like about the hips. Um, it is fairly slanted, so if you have very sensitive hips, you might want to be aware of that. Uh, however, this stops above my iliac crest, so it's not pushing into my hip bones itself. So let's go to the tabletop portion of this review, and I can show you the other details close up. 
So here is the corset laid flat, and for the materials, the mesh parts are obviously single layer, as you can see here. Uh, the mesh is a black synthetic material, it has a hexagonal weave here. When I actually pull on it, it doesn't seem to distort all that much. It is a fishnet style mesh, it's not like a true sports mesh that um, doesn't have any uh, stretch to it whatsoever, but this is a slightly smaller hole with uh, with less distortion Slightly better quality that I have seen in some other corsets with some other brands uh, The cotton parts here. These are two layers. So the fashion fabric is this really cute uh, green floral 100% uh, cotton. This is just a, a lightweight cotton print canvas weave and on the inside is black cotton twill here this is what the label looks like, and it is uh, a lot less information than what is uh, printed on the labels for their corsets coming from India. You can see the size here, uh, the cleaning instructions, and all of the corsets do come with a little tag here, so vintage goth. Um, so that is their, I believe that's their wholesale name, and corset deal is their retail name. Turning this corset to the side, if you consider the panels in between the single layers here as uh, e each individual panel, then it's technically a six panel pattern, 12 panels on both sides. So here's one, two, three, four, five, and this last uh, sixth one is quite a wide panel here. Unfortunately, I don't know the actual name of this specific pattern. When you go onto Corset Deal's website, uh, on every listing, they actually have a specific name, like uh, Iva or Kaylee or something like that for each spe uh, specific pattern. So if you find a cut that works for you, you can search the site uh, of all the different cuts in, in the different fabrics and styles. But because Corset Deal took this corset down from their website. Unfortunately, I don't know the exact name of this pattern. I don't think it is the candy pattern because when I tried a candy corset in the past, uh, it was very um, slim on me. It was very, very small on the hips, and this one seems to have more curve. Uh, but if I do figure out which pattern style this was called, I'll put it down in the description below. And for the construction of this corset, where there were two layers here, uh, the layers seem to have been flat lined and treated pretty much as a single layer. Uh, the channels were laid down, uh, there's decorative channels on the outside of the corset and also a twill on the inside. So they made those strips individually and sandwiched the mesh in between them and stitched it down. So they probably assembled the mesh panels all together and then put these channels down, sandwiching the two layers or sandwiching the mesh between the two layers to reinforce that seam and also provide a place for the boning channels here. And you can also really plainly see the waist tape here. So it's a partial waist tape extending from between panels one and two and stopping between panels five and six here. One inch wide, it's exposed on the inside of the corset here and it's secured down at every seam and it's made from single faced satin ribbon. And when I match up the um, panels of the mesh corset here like this, uh, you can see through it and you can see that this uh, side of the corset has the waist tape a little bit higher than this side uh, by about uh, a quarter, actually more than more about three eighths of an inch. Now, um, I can definitely see that on the front. If you don't have like a sharp eye, you're probably not going to notice. I don't really feel the difference when it's on my body. I still feel that the this light tilting at the top is attributed to the fact that one side of this corset is about half an inch longer than the other side because of the mesh stretching. But say if you're very sensitive about the position of your waist tape, say you have a very short waist and very small space between your waist and your hips, so there's no uh, wiggle room, there's, there's no room for mistakes, or or if you have um, some nerve problems so you're very sensitive about where the waist tape sits on you, do keep this in mind. The binding is made from bias strips of the same printed cotton, so it's matching. Uh, machine stitch on both outside and on the inside here. Uh, there is one spot where they kind of missed, but other than that, um, pretty tidy top stitch through here. There are also six garter tabs, three on each side. This modesty panel is very, very wide. It is a little bit over uh, seven inches wide, not including the, the seam allowance here. And so it would cover a gap of a little bit more than five inches wide. And it is uh, unstiffened, no bones in it. 
and it's finished in the printed cotton on the outside and the twill on the inside and like I said before it is stitched down here on one side but if you don't like modesty panels you want a little bit more air on your back you can just take a seam ripper and remove this pretty easily. There's also a half inch wide modesty placket extending out from the knob side of the busk unstiffened and finished in the same floral cotton. The busk in this corset is nine and a half inches long and it has five loops and pins equidistantly spaced. It's a heavy wide busk, one inch wide on each side, and it is typical stiffness for a heavy duty busk. It's fairly decent. There are 14 bones in this corset, seven on each side, single boned on the seams here. So these ones, one, two, three, four, five, these are all quarter inch wide spirals. You can see that it's uh, strongly attracting my magnet here. And in the back here on both sides uh, is a quarter inch wide flat steel bone, which also attracts my magnet. And there are a total of 24 grommets, 12 on each side. They are size zero with a medium flange and finished in silver. They are equidistantly spaced, about an inch apart. A uh, slightly different style of grommets compared to the corsets that I received from Corset Deal that were shipped from India. And um, you will see, I'll, I'll probably mention in my future reviews when I get around to reviewing those ones, that I actually prefer the type of grommets used here. Uh, I also noticed that the bones sandwiching the grommets in this corset are a lot closer to the grommets themselves. It's closer together and it's more supportive. When I wear this corset, I notice that um, there's no like wrinkling, no warping, twisting, or bending of the bones in this particular corset. It stays very, very straight on my body, even when I'm um, pulling on it quite rigorously. Uh, so I prefer this lacing system in this corset compared to the corsets that were shipped from India and I will mention that again when I uh, review the other corsets. And here's the underside of the grommet so you can see there are washes present. Uh, you can see that they've rolled pretty tidily here. Uh, none of them are pulling out. I don't see damage to the cotton fabric around the grommets so they're holding in. And the laces in the back of this corset, surprisingly, are double-faced satin ribbon. So they are about half an inch wide, finished in black satin, smooth and shiny on both sides. Very, very strong, no stretch to them. They hold the knots and the bows well. Uh, they're very long. They're certainly long enough for my needs. And uh, they do their job. Like I said before, there were many mesh corsets before on Corset Deal's website. Uh, many different colors, you can get it in different types of printed cotton, and the mesh itself came in black or white, but unfortunately those are now taken down from the site. I don't know if that's temporary or if they are planning to bring it back later in the summer. When I purchased this corset, it was $45 in the pre-order sale, but I can't guarantee if that uh, price is going to stay the same uh, when or if they ever decide to bring back their mesh styles. Like I said at the beginning of this video, this review was made possible only by my Patreon supporters, so thank you so, so much. They not only fund the future corsets for review, but every single one of them, whether they uh, donate $1 or 50, they actually get to vote on how their dollars are spent. So you get power in uh, which brand and style I review in the future. So if you're curious to learn more about my Patreon and you're interested in supporting, I'll have a link up on the screen here. So this concludes my review. I hope you enjoyed it and you learned something new. If you did, please click that like button down there as it helps support this channel. If you have any comments or questions about this corset or corset deal in general, feel free to leave a comment down below and I'd be happy to get back to you. And if you have a mesh corset from Corset Deal before they had taken it to off their site and you want to uh, add your input and uh, give your experience, feel free to leave a comment down below as well because I'm sure many of us would be curious to know your thoughts as well. Thanks again for watching and I will see you next week for another video. Bye!